All right, quarter to seven right now. We want to check in with meteorologist Max to Paris again. Another hot one. Yeah, you know, in fact, I think we see record high temps on the way as we get to the 80s for the second day in a row. We also have a wildfire risk continuing as we have a dry, breezy setup in the forecast for you. Changes this weekend. We get rid of the fire risk as showers and storms arrive later in the day on Saturday. Much colder on Sunday uh, with a light rain and snow mix chance. So yeah, going from summery temps to wintry conditions in a matter of days, guys. So get ready. Low to mid 60s this morning for the drive in. Oh, so comfy. Low to mid 70s by noon. And there you see topping off in the low 80s for the second day in a row. Warmest stretch of weather we've seen since mid September. Yesterday we didn't break the record. We were three degrees shy. Current record 86 for April 12th set in 1887, but it was the second warmest April 12th we have ever experienced. Record books go back to the 1860s. We'll get to the low 80s today. That should shatter the record of 78 set in 1938, and we'll fall shy of the record tomorrow, but still holding on to a summery feel to end the work week. Now, here's a look at your health report. We do have a moderate air quality index out there, so you might want to keep the windows closed if you are impacted by poorer air quality and keep the AC on instead. UV index up to a 7. That means if you don't take precautions, you might see a sunburn time in as little as a half hour. And that pollen count on the high side, and yep, it's the trees that are in full bloom being whipped by the winds out there, uh, causing for that high pollen count, juniper, maple, and alder spores specifically. So out the door, you'll want the short sleeve again the shades for that glare allergy meds and the sunscreen if you are impacted again by spring allergies of course red flag warning for the wildfire risk from 11 this morning through 8 in the evening for the entire WKOW area out towards Milwaukee as well for a dry very warm and windy setup no burns are allowed probably shouldn't be even having bonfires the embers can just get out of control and uh, to get on the tinder uh, pretty fast considering that nothing's greening up quite yet and this is our wildfire season of course winds out of the southwest getting temps to rise lots of sunshine today on future track tomorrow a few thin clouds passing overhead but still plenty bright and here comes a cold front that'll cause for shower and storm chances to rise as we get later in the afternoon and evening of Saturday. A couple of them could be on the stronger side, tracking some high winds, potentially some small hail as well. We're already seeing a level one out of five risk for severe weather for us on Saturday. Then on the back side of that cold front, look, a light rain and yes, light snow chance mixing in as we end your Sunday. Today, though, summer like low 80s, record warmth, breezy, mostly sunny and dry. Mid 50s tonight, tomorrow, upper 70s and low 80s. Still feeling summery to end the work week. Saturday, shower and storm chances, mainly for the afternoon and evening. I think it's like four to nine is the window for us for the best chance. And then we see that light rain snow mix chance on Sunday down to the 40s. And we have a slow warm up through next week, but feeling certainly much more seasonal for mid April. So again, it is only April. We knew the summer weather had to end at some point. Looks like we have another two or three days to go and that's it.